everyone and welcome back to my channel. Two things. One, I'm sorry that this May fabric stash video is really late. Um, I've been on holiday and I've had loads of stuff to do and catch up on so apologies for that. And two, um, my hay fever is really bad at the moment so I might be a bit nasally and sneezy and I might have to keep stopping to um, blow my nose and have a glass of water. <laughs> um, but we will get through it. So I wanted to share with you fabrics that I've got recently and some patterns that I'm going to be doing soon and to show you a few things that I made last month. I didn't actually get around to making too much. Um, one thing I'm not going to show you is um, the Megan Nielsen briar top because um, I've actually made two and I'm going to do a separate video and a pattern review on those. Um, but I will show you two items. One of well, both of them you would have seen by now, probably. The first one is my lace overlay skirt. Now, I got these fabrics from Minerva Crafts in last month's video, April stash video, maybe. Um, and it's this beautiful coral floral lace. And then I had a pink, plain pink poly cotton underneath for the skirt. Now, you would have seen this if you've seen my Handmade Fair vlogs, um, because I wore this at the fair while I was teaching. Um, and I will put a link below to the actual blog post about it on the Minerva Crafts website. Um, I love wearing this. I'm so glad I made it. It's so comfy. I love the or orange elastic waistband. Um, and it's very on trend at the moment, which I'm very, very happy about. Um, I just love it. And it's really bright and summery. It's just the perfect summer skirt, in my opinion. So if you want to know how I made it, then make sure you click the link in the description below and you can read all about it. Okay, and the second item I've made is um, this dress. Now you might, sorry it's a bit creased, it's been just shoved in the laundry pile. <laughs> I haven't washed it yet. It was my cousin's wedding on Saturday just gone and it was a beautiful day and I really wanted to make my outfit and you may have seen me talking about these fabrics in my last video. Uh, these are from myfabrics.co.uk um, and this one is a navy paint splash jersey and it's just a plain orange jersey. They are so soft. Like sometimes you get jerseys that are a bit stiff and a bit rough, um, but these ones are so, so nice. So I will definitely put the link to the website below if you want some. Um, and I'm really, really happy with this dress. I'm really happy with the way it turned out. Again, I will put a link below to my blog post all about it because there's a few things about the pattern that I use that I just want to let you know about and how I found it. This was the Vogue V9197 easy dress pattern um, and it turned out it wasn't that easy because I had to make so many adjustments but I will, if you click on the link in the description below you can read all about that um, and see more pictures of me wearing it. Um, but no, I'm really really happy with the way it turned out and I really like the way it looks on me and the fit of it and it's super soft and comfy so I'm very very happy with this one. Okay so now on to fabrics. So the first new fabric I bought um, is actually from where my mum works at Hanson's Fabric Warehouse in Stempton Newton in Dorset um, and that is this really really cute um, elephant print quilting cotton from Lewis and Irene. Um, I love all Lewis and Irene fabrics anyway. I think they have great designers and they just always produce really, really cute fabrics. This one, I wanted like a gray neutral fabric because I've got, I want to make something for my friend. Um, and well, I really hope she likes it anyway. Um, I just think it's super, super cute. So I can't wait to show you what I make with that. Okay, so the next fabric I'm gonna show you is my favorite this month. It's this flamingo print cotton, like quite a heavy duty cotton, um, maybe a poly cotton, I'm not quite sure. Um, this was from um, Minerva Crafts and I've got a really, really cool plan to make with this because I want to make a dress for my birthday and I can't wait to share with you what that is. Um, my birthday's in July so it won't, you won't see this until July. Um, but I just absolutely love this fabric, it's amazing. I love the colours, I love pink and orange. It's got pink and orange and it's on turquoise, I mean, you can't get better than that. Okay, so the next fabric is also from Minerva Crafts and it's this really, really nice 
um, geometric print white cotton. Now the pattern's quite subtle, which is why I like it, but it's got like this satiny sheen in the pattern, um, which I really like, and I love the shapes on it. It's just simple, yet detailed, um, and I wanted to maybe make a shirt or something with this. Um, it's got a bit of stretch in it, um, which might be quite nice. So I'll see how this turns out, but you might see this very soon. I want to do more staple wardrobe pieces that I can wear for loads of different occasions because I have a habit of buying really crazy fabrics and then making like really bold items, but I don't actually make that many everyday things that I can wear. Um, so I really want to make more neutral things that I can just pull out of my wardrobe and wear, whatever the occasion, and I just think this is a really nice fabric to start doing things like that. Lastly, the fabric this month is a just a plain taupey, well not taupey, dove grey linen mixed cotton. Um, I thought this would be a really nice fabric for summer, maybe to make like a casual dress with or some skirts. Um, it's a really really neutral colour again going back to like staple wardrobe pieces and I just thought a nice lightweight linen cotton mix fabric would be really really handy to have and this one is from Minerva Crafts as well okay now patterns um, I have two from Tilly Buttons my favourite patterns of all the first one being the new Etta dress which I'm so so excited about making um, my friend Lexi has also made a red one um, that's on, I think it's on the Tilly Buttons blog and it's on the Instagram as well and she looks amazing in it. I'm really really excited about making this pattern because I think it suits everyone's shape and it's just really smart, a nice cocktail dress but not too fussy, you know you can make it in like a really crazy fabric or something plain and simple um, and there's some really nice details on it like there's this extra neckband that you can do with like this little collar at the back which I think looks really really pretty. Um, I'm not sure if I'm going to do a short sleeve or long sleeve version yet. Um, I haven't quite made up my mind. Maybe short sleeve but plain without the neck detail, I'm not sure. I might have to do some drawings and then see what I like best but really really excited about making this edge pattern. Again I'll put a link to these patterns below. The next Tilly Buttons pattern is the Bateen dress. I don't know why I don't own this yet, um, but again I thought this style was a really nice staple wardrobe piece for summer and you can make it in loads of different fabrics, loads of different patterns um, and I just thought some really simple summer dresses, again one, you can have pockets on it, I mean I am a big fan of pockets so I definitely think I'll make the pocketed version first and then see how that goes. But I mean this is a beginner's pattern, it shouldn't be too complicated and I've seen tons and tons of people wearing them and they look amazing on. So I'm really really excited about making this so I would definitely make this one very soon. Lastly I have got a Deer and Doe pattern, it's the Melod? Meliot? Mel Melilot? Melilot shirt? I don't know how to say that. This again is a nice staple wardrobe piece. Maybe I can make it in the geometric white fabric. Um, so I'm really, really excited about making this. Hopefully it'll turn out well. I have made shirts before. I've made Tilly Buttons Rosa shirt before. I mean, I was a bit scared at first, but hopefully this one will turn out just as good as that one did. Um, so now I'm really, really excited about trying this one out. So in other news, I have some exciting new things happening in the studio, um, which will be talked about on my blog soon. Um, I have loads of new posts and projects coming up, um, so make sure to check out my blog and extra links on there that I talk about um, to keep up to date with what I'm doing. Um, also, follow me on Instagram because I post a lot of what I'm up to on Instagram. Um, but no, there's lots of exciting things happening, so I can't wait to share them with you. I'm just excited about so many things. Um, I've got to get back to like catching up with work because taking a week off and going to Scotland with my friends was both glorious and detrimental to the paperwork that's scattered around the floor right now. Um, but we'll just pretend that's not there. So I hope you enjoyed this video this week. I'm sorry it was a bit chatty and a bit rushed, um, but I wanted to make sure I got video out this week for you because I've been neglecting my channel a bit and I promise I'm gonna do my overlocker lessons 
um, or lesson number two soon. Um, I'm hopefully going to record that this week so it'll be out next week. Um, if you have any comments or any ideas, um, please comment below. I know that there's a few fabrics that you haven't seen yet that I've mentioned in my previous videos that I haven't made anything with, but I promise things have either been made and I'm just waiting for a blog post to put them up on, or they will be made soon, I just haven't had the time, so please be patient with me. Um, but thank you for watching and I'll see you again next week. Happy handmade everyone! Thank you.